Um, I'm Millie Drury. I am a senior, class of 2021, and I'm an English and Art double major. I usually work with digital photography, um, and uh, I have worked with like some painting, but for the show, I'm working with digital photo. So, do you anticipate including the work that you have on the walls in your studio right um, now? No. Uh, I don't think any of this will be in the show. I have five photo shoots and they're going to be kind of focused on uh, women, the female body, kind of women's issues, that type of thing, mm -hmm. issues around gender and performativity and gender roles. I want to try to make them pretty large scale uh, this year um, and uh, I really just like to focus on portraits. Um, I like just weird, uncomfortable images um, that ha like just make the viewer kind of off-put. After I print the first photo, I go in and I do some physical layering um, and physical manipulations like um, actually adding paint or different types of materials, found objects, um, things with like history and things like that. Um, and I layer them over top and then re-photograph it. So it gives like this um, interesting kind of uh, 2D uh, finished piece, but there's like physical 3D layering that's kind of makes it more visually intriguing. So you can see here with like I added paint and um, like mirror shards and glitter and gel beads and stuff like that. Um, so I'd like to have like a weird subject um, like this one was just like my friend um, in all white and it was snowing outside and yeah it's mostly just experiments in here um, hi Millie hi. how are you okay, how are you? I'm good so how do you feel about the work? Do you think it was a success? Are you happy with it? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it was uh, a lot different than kind of what I originally envisioned for mm -hmm. each of them because um, the photo shoots always go differently than, you know, I think in my head. Um, but um, I was really happy with the way that the long horizontal images came out. Do you have a piece that's your favorite? Probably this one, um, just because of the way that the colors came out, um, and I don't know, I think that the contrast of the, you know, very simple colors from the original photograph overlaid with the a lot brighter um, yarn and stuff, I thought that came out a lot better than I was expecting. So originally, I wanted to, if we had an in-person show, print them kind of like this size or even a little bigger, like a little wider, mm -hmm. um, so they would fit like the entire paper. Um, because I kind of wanted people to like walk along next to them and like it's because they're so big, like you kind of have to immerse yourself in this like weird thing that I've created. Um, and I think that I would have also displayed some of the props that I used um, throughout the process to kind of show the different scale and like what I was actually working with and like what was actually layered over top of like things like that. Um, but uh, because it's online, yeah, none of them were printed or anything. But yeah. In my mind, the scale was really big just to kind of be weirdly like in your face kind of. I think that I would like to do something like this um, but I've definitely done a lot of work that focuses on like womanhood and femininity and things like that so I feel like that aspect of it like I want to be able to build on more than just like keep repeating the same types of themes I've been using um, but I know that I definitely want to keep photographing and stuff. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to incorporate some of the themes and like techniques that I've learned and used, but build more on the concepts. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, awesome.
Awesome. Thank you so much. Really excited about the work. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you.